Some of you guys have it, okay? I'm just gonna do a little variation. It's called Wimmy, okay? Instead of throwing his head this way, I'm gonna do the same angle that I got when I did my knee taps, okay? Remember how I did it? Take a step back. Okay, I'm gonna get that same angle, okay? Same, same thing, same situation. Guy has a hold of my arm right here. I'm gonna take a step back, okay? Just like I was gonna do my knee tap. This time, my shoulder's in his back. It's carrying all my weight. All I'm gonna do with this arm, I'm gonna get it straight. I'm gonna take it straight. I'm gonna bring it straight up, okay? I'm gonna bring it straight out, and we're gonna bring it right on his back. Okay? At the same time that I do that, my free hand. Okay? My free hand right here, as I'm coming out, hang on to it. Come right behind his arm. Okay? You see that? Just like I'm gonna do my regular go behind, just come right behind his armpit. This works really well, but I can't do this slow. I gotta do it fast. When you guys are drilling and you're feeling it out, do it slow for a couple times, and then pick up the pace a little bit. The whole idea of this arm, the winning arm, coming out over. Right through his far hip. Okay? Bring it straight out, up, and over. Okay? This guy can hang on to it as tight as he possibly wants right here. Okay? I'm going to bring it straight out. Once he gets to this point, can't hang on to it anymore. So I bring it to that far hip. Now I just got to throw my other arm in. As I'm bringing it out and up, it's starting to come right behind. Okay? Once I get behind this guy's arm, I should be able to score every single time. Bring it out, up, over. I'm going to attack that far hip or attack that far ankle. Circle and score. Real easy move to get, okay? But I gotta keep my arm um, tight. I gotta have tension on my arm. Can't let it go loose. If it's loose, it's not gonna work. It's gotta be tight, it's gotta be explosive. Here, circle and score, okay? Use my shoulder for him to carry all my weight, okay? When I'm ready to go, I release that pressure, bring it straight out. Okay, once I bring it straight out, that's loosen it up. Once I bring it up, that's how I release it. Catch that far ankle. Now I already got this arm behind his armpit. Done deal, I should score every single time. The bigger angle I get to this side, he's just gonna be for me. I'm facing this way, he's facing that way. This arm's coming straight out, up, this arm's behind it, tap, score. So when I'm doing this, I right know the shuck is, right? I showed you. The shuck is this. Bring his head to the side. Not bring his head to the side at all. His head should stay in the same place. Hold on this arm. Right here. Right here, roll behind. Back that far in. So the first couple times you do it, just kind of mess around with it. Take a step back. Do this. Work on this motion. Free hand. Look right behind. Once you get that down, then go ahead and bring this arm all the way up and over. Back that far ankle and then drop. Do that a couple times. <laughs> Do that a couple times once you got it down. Tap and score. Just a little vari variation. Not saying this shot is bad. If you guys are good at that, you like that, that's fine. Just give you a little, another little option. A little variation. Right here. Tap and score. Got it?